Mastopexy, breast lift, reduction mammoplasty, breast reduction. These terms get as confusing as all the incisions that make them happen. And the incisions are important, not just because of scars. Of course, we don't want scars. We're cosmetic surgeons and our patients don't want scars. We live in a world of optimizing uh, outcomes and incisions and making it look like we were never there. That's a lot of fun, but interestingly, uh, especially to me, the way the incisions are designed actually shapes the breast, especially uh, by example, vertical mastopexy techniques. And there is a lot of word salad that goes on with that, whether it's teardrop, keyhole, um, lollipop. These are the roughly the same procedure, but the idea is rather than pulling the breast down as you would pull shirt over pants, which can lead to a boxy or squared breast, as well as a long scar underneath the breast fold. Well, if we simply consider what we want the breast shape to resume, which is a teardrop, conical projected shape, well, then a more a simple line straight up and down accomplishes that. The line is the final scar, but what that actually represents is the removal of, <laughs> call it, you know, a snowman. I just gave another word um, to the, uh, the, the marketing salad. But the snowman has a head and a general body, and that wide general body then can be gathered in the center to create projection and teardrop shape to the breast. It's not good enough to do it in the skin alone. It's way more important to do it for the breast underneath. For most women with age or pregnancy breastfeeding, um, fat and breast volume disappears from the upper part of the breast and does just the opposite in the lower part of the breast. So we need to leverage that. That is remove some of that tissue, the heavier tissue that is making the breast heavy and not teardrop, get rid of it, reconstruct a brassiere underneath the breast to support that skin in that perfect arrangement, and you get really consistent results. And also the ability to lift the breast from the abdomen. For many women, the only solution uh, historically was this scar all the way across the bottom of the chest to try to, to, try to elevate that skin, but it is not as reliable as removing the breast from underneath and letting the skin pattern do what it's designed to do best.